Pharaoh, like when it was there. These are the kinds of things we find in this text that are laughable. Are you kidding me? Herod decided to send the magi, magi to look for the baby in Bethlehem without without sending an entourage with them or a spy to know what's going on so that they could escape, even though they came to worship? I mean, on and on and on. This is not a believable text. Your answer, please. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, your, your argumentation is, 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 is outrageously poor. And, uh, yeah, you're correct. Babies are in, in the womb a lot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you exactly why your argumentation is poor. The babies do leap in the womb a lot. But the, there, there's, a particular reason, there, there's a particular reason why the text is saying the baby leaps in the womb, womb and all of that is connected with, with the fact that this baby, this is, a, this is a direct prophecy from God being fulfilled. The leaping in the womb is not just a regular type of leaping. It is meant to be viewed in a supernatural form. Uh, again, you mentioned the, the, again, you mentioned the angels. You're correct about the angels. Angels are not omnipotent. But yes, you're correct. The angel did know this particular thing. But I think the reason this is included in the biblical text is to show that Mary had not known a man. Of course, I'm, I'm a Catholic. I don't believe she ever did. But up until that point, I think the text is pointing out that Mary never knew a man, thus connecting that with the virgin birth. I, I, don't, I don't think it's ridiculous. I really don't. Okay, well then, let me throw you another one. Let me throw you another one. Okay, all right, fine. You may just give me uh, another one. Uh, Luke chapter 2, when uh, Caesar Augustus uh, said that all the world should be taxed. And in verse 3 it says, And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Are you kidding me? Everyone in the whole empire went to their uh, place of, of, of birth? No one, no one... This is not believable. This is incredible. How did it ever come into the Bible in the first place? It's ludicrous. These things are in the text that you say also tell us there was a baby who is a virgin birth brought by a mother. Now, now if you can't, I know you just reinforced it because Matthew is your guy, right? Yeah, and you know what, John? If these are your best arguments, I don't see why you're not a Christian right now because they're really poor arguments. And Luke 2 is... And I hope maybe you'll reconsider uh, your abandonment of the faith after this debate, because Luke two three says all and all went to be taxed, everyone into its own city. I think anybody that studies the Greek word pontus uh, will know that it is not it doesn't necessarily need to be every single individual. Usually, when the Greek word pos is used, it can be mentioning an overwhelming amount of individuals, or it could be mentioning everyone. I don't see how it would be ludicrous that everyone went to register. But even if you do think that's ludicrous, the text doesn't demand a literal sense of every single individual because that is not what the Greek is saying. So I, I think a lot of what you disagree with, John, I think a lot of it can be answered away, can be answered properly if you study the text. And I really do hope you study it a little bit more because I think there's a lot of evidence for the virgin birth and not just that. I think there's a lot of evidence for Christianity in general. Now, well, well, no, 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 no. You didn't read verse 4. And so Joseph also, also, meaning uh, like others, went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. So now what you have are people who are from the house, same house and lineage, going to the origination of that uh, the, the, that house, like David. So that was 14 yes. generations earlier, according to, I think, your genealogy and Luke. So why 14 and not 17 generations earlier? Why 21? Why, why not 37 generations? Why is it 14? 14 generations, those people, they should go to Bethlehem, or they, they should go uh, yeah, to Bethlehem, uh, because that's where my father, of uh, 14 generations, uh, you know, lived and, and was born. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is not just, uh, you know, you, you're pulling things out. You're not actually reading what's going on. And I did read the Bible seven times, mostly in Greek, most of a lot of Jew texts, Hebrew and Greek. Well, I, I, think, I think if you had read it in Greek or studied it, you wouldn't be making these elementary errors, John. I really think that these arguments that you're putting forth are, are poor, such as all going to all registering. I think had you actually studied that, you would have come to a different conclusion. I, I think you would have, if, if, you, if, if you had studied what the early, the earliest Jewish interpretations say, and the earliest Christians, 
you would come to the conclusion that the virgin birth is historical. Well, 